Good morning, good morning. Raining, raining, raining. It's supposed to rain a good bit of the week. Okay. We have, I pulled a couple things last night. I'm trying to get most of the sand off my desk. <laughs> and I prepped my bet base for, oh yeah, I stick it up here. I'll try to close it a little bit for today. But today we are flipping through, okay, here's Mermaid, the front page. That's going to be the story about her, Sarah Sloth, our aquatic archaeologist. Uh, this is the second page, and we found out she was from Big Sur in Northern California. Uh, the third page, we found out, um, we learned about some other female archaeologists. And yesterday, we learned, oh dear. Oh, good. We learned about the tools of her trade. So that needs to be, I lost my tools thing somehow along the way. But never fear, we have another post-it. I used to have a whole drawer full of post-its. And I prepped today's page with black. The black that we used from the blue. A jelly plate yesterday. Oh, Judy, I'm so envious of you making your own. I don't know if I it was a rumor or false or real, but I've heard that the ones you make on your own, or it could be old tech because it was a while ago, um, that you have to keep in the refrigerator. Mm, not crazy about art supplies in the refrigerator. I'm not above it. I could do that if I had to. Not sure what my husband will think. He doesn't really care, but just kind of weird. And today, did I say what today is going to be? No, I didn't. Okay. But yes, I love the jelly plate. Today is going to be about the bottle that our archaeologist found in the ocean in the tide after a major hurricane. Just the bottle. Uh, so this is kind of like turbulent water, possibly, on a gray, cloudy day from a hurricane. And then I pulled a bunch of black stuff or dark colors. I don't know how I'm going to use any of them. Um, I have a bottle. I might just use the shape. I don't know. But this was from Daphne's Diary. Um... And it's a magical bottle, I'm sure. Daphne would have no other in her magazine besides magical ones. Correct, correct. My 49ers lost. Painfully lost. Like the fourth play, their third string quarterback got hit and or injured a nerve in his elbow on his throwing arm. <laughs> they had their four-string quarterback come in who's never played a game. I don't think he's played a game this year. Um, he practices and all that, but he's never played a game. Um, and he got a concussion. So they were posing. That was in the beginning of the third quarter, I think, is when his concussion happened. Uh, they were starting to prep Christian McCaffrey, who just left the Panthers, the Carolina Panthers. I'm sure you want football play-by-play. Play. Here it is. Sorry. Um, Christian McCaffrey was transferred to San Francisco like in the middle of the night, uh, which was really interesting. But I found out that the um, coach of the 49ers and the McCaffrey family have been long, long, long old friends. And the coach of the 49ers um, and Christian McCaffrey are about uh, a little clo close in age, but not great. Because the coach of the 49ers is very young. Um, and anyhow, so he was being prepped with some plays to play quarterback. I think he's a running position. I'm not sure which one. Um, but it's like, oh my Lord, it was just tragic. And of course, then they decided to bring the hurt quarterback back in, but he can't throw. All he can do is hand off. And somebody has to run, which means if you put all your biggest guys and all your strongest guys on the defensive line and rush everybody that might possibly catch a handoff ball, you got a good strategy. And that's what they did. To their credit, the Philadelphia Eagles, but now I want the Kansas City Chiefs, who beat the Bengals, to womp 
the Philadelphia Eagles, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, they might win. They're predicted by one point, I think, currently, Monday morning, and it's two weeks away. But uh, it was just, it was just tragic. I couldn't even watch the last bit of the game. It was tragic. I couldn't see all those guys cry. I think this is the game they lost in last year too. Um, it was just it was just tragic. Uh, a whole line of unfortunate things happened. Bosa got hurt, which is one of their strong defensive guys, uh, in a fluke thing. I mean, it was just it was crazy. Okay, enough of the. 49ers update. Let's just play. So the focal point of this today is going to be this bottle. Now, it does not match these colors, but it doesn't have to because it was a found object after a hurricane. Correct? Correct. Um, and there just might be quite a lot of layering today and or whatever's. But I, Diane Fago, is that how you say her last name? She used to do a lot of mixed media stuff. And then she kind of took a break. And she had family issues, understandably. And then she um, has been trying to come back. But I think she's back with the vengeance the last couple days I've been watching her, which I've missed her. But she's making something that curls a lot of uh, roughed edges and it's really pretty but we're just gonna see what we can do here I don't want to cover up all the blue because to me it stimulates or res re represents the action of the waves from a hurricane and we remember this bottle was found that way um, know if that's that could pull out some warm tones but I don't know if I want to use this but maybe just this raggedy piece right here of course and then what else is in my pulled out I love these bottles <gasps> This may not be raggedy enough here. Oh, but I like that right there. And then I was thinking about spelling bottles. Bottle. I don't know. Okay, we got a B, and we got an O, and we got a T, and we got an E. We need another T and an L. And here they are. <laughs> okay. B. So yeah, my heart was just broken for those guys. It's just sad to see humongous football players cry. <laughs> There's something about that that just breaks my heart. Oh. Our friends left yesterday afternoon. They stopped by here and got a drink on their way out. No alcohol involved. Um, but. Oh, here's another T. I only need an L. B O T T. Could I make a letter on here into an L? Because then I would have... Oh, too bad I don't have two E's. I could have done that. They would all be the same font. Not that they have to be. Hmm. Oh, I could take this R and turn it into an L. Let's do that. Mm. It's going to 
I mean, cutting off a bunch. Hmm. Wrong direction. Huh. Okay. Here it is. I'm sure if I took the time, I could find something in a magazine up here, but, or a book. But we're just going to go with this for now. B-O-T-T-L-E. Oh dear, I shifted it all. Um, what else is in here? And I have a little bit of these guys. I still have all of this, but I think it's too warm. I do have, these are from when I did my um, Mark Twain Around the Equator book. I think these were from Australia or New Zealand. Printed extra. How that happens, you know. But if we put this under here and expose that as a rough edge in that. You still see a lot of the blue. This kind of needs to be over to the side because it's missing part of it. That's where it was on her page and Daphne's page and on my page it's gonna, oh, I love that. Now let's see if I can get this all down without messing it up or losing something. So yeah, the story, I think I'm gonna work on a little bit of the backstory uh, layout possibility. I don't know. Ooh, where do I start here? Okay, that goes all together. I'm trying to do this so I don't lose it. And then I'll treat it like one big sticker. See how, oh lordy, have I already lost some letters? Y'all stay together, help each other out. Save them, save yourselves from me. <laughs> okay. Even that, just like that, is beautiful. Yeah, I think our rain started like 8 o'clock last night. But there's supposed to be some heavy stuff in different parts of the south. I don't think us this time. Let's put this down first. Somewhere like that. this down somewhere like this the friend that was here was the one that have I told you that she might go to Vietnam with me um, she still hasn't made up her mind which she needs to kind of make it up because I think the trip is filling up um, but Next year, they go to Japan, and she's really, really anxious for that. So I think we're going to focus on that if we don't miss the deadline for that, too. So if I'm assuming I do okay on a 27,000-hour flight with my foot and all, because I have to get up and walk around a lot because of this stupid foot, because if it's still for too long, it's a mess. And I have a feeling with that kind of trip, we're going to take off on the ground running, no pun intended. And I need to be able to at least limp. <laughs> okay, not crazy about the L, but that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. You know what, something needs to go right there. 
Something needs to go with something, something. How many pieces do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we blew that idea. That's okay. Doesn't matter. I just like sevens. Now, I just got an idea. I wonder if we put a little bit more blue gingerly. Oh, wait a minute. I still have these guys. I might could paint a little blue on these guys. Ooh, this represents the bubbles in the ocean, right? Oh, except for the bottle. That's a great piece of modern art. Right, right. Okay, uh, let's see here. All right, the lightest blue I have, which is this. Ooh, the wind. Here. And let's just, oh no, that's the trash people. <laughs> Wind, trash, whatever. <clears throat> just kind of dabbing it just a little bit. I might even add some to the background. Oh, I, I'm going to stop. This is gorgeous. Is it too, too wrong to love your own stuff? <laughs> hope not. Or I'd be in trouble. Is it against art etiquette to love your own stuff? Oh, here's another bottle that I found in something. Should we put that in here? It's like a military can can uh, canteen. I had one of those. Judy and Campfire Girls. I bet you y'all use them, don't you? All right, what if I could just put it in here upside down so it's kind of like mysteriously in here? Well, of course you can. Just like that. That's her old bottle. Now she has a new bottle. Could be. I don't know. Okay, loving it. I'm wondering if these will smear a little bit. Not really. They already dried. Okay. Bottle. Loving it. Thanks for watching. Bye.